Hey, what's up everybody? It's Michael Trainer here with you again, e-commerce tip of the day, uh, launch cart e-com mentor monthly. So we love doing these uh, e-commerce tips of the day, help you guys with your conversions, with uh, everything that online advertising, digital marketing, um, and like I said, conversion rates. We, we really wanna help you with your site, with your e-commerce site. So today what I wanna show you is a way to monitor your Facebook ads and make sure that you're getting the right amount of return on your ad spend. And so Facebook makes it really easy to, to do this. I'm gonna kind of take you uh, over the shoulder here into one of our ad accounts. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, it's called ROAS, R-O-A-S, it's return on ad spend. And you really wanna monitor this to make sure that you are making, um, that you are, uh, that you're on your purchases and on the cost of your purchases and the amount of, um, uh, that it costs for your action that you're getting the right amount of, re of, of return on your ad spend in, in your Facebook ad account. So uh, a very easy way to do this. So what we can do is if you go to your columns and your performances, okay? So what you wanna do is come over here and you wanna go to customize columns. And this is really great. You can customize with whatever uh, metric you're looking for, but normally you're looking on, you know, your, your purchases, clicks, uh, CTR, um, but one of the most, uh, the website purchases, but one of the most important is your ROAS. So you can come up here in the search bar and search ROAS and it will come up. And you just wanna go ahead and click on that, click on the little box. And what that will do is that will add it right to the bottom here. And so what you could do is, uh, um, you can take off the mobile if you're if you're not running mobile or you can be really specific so we'll just take these off because uh, the website purchase pretty much ends up being the exact same as the purchase row as so I usually just to, to save space I just turn both of these off because you're still gonna get the purchase and I kind of like to bring it up a little bit higher just maybe right after the amount spent so I can kind of see uh, let's see if we can go one more there we go sometimes it's a little tricky there we go and then if you want to save this as a preset you can do that you can just say you know standard or however you want to save it I like to just I'll just save it as that so I know that that has the uh, the red row as metric in there and you simply hit apply okay so then you can start to see what your row as is so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna bring up the the, uh, the ads that we're running that have been the most successful with the most um, uh, let's see the most conversions let's go I'm gonna move website purchases actually so what you can do is you can go in here into ROAS oops go to customize columns I'm gonna move the website purchases up right before there so I can see them easily I'm gonna apply okay so now you can see the website purchases so I'm gonna bring up some that we've uh, some of the uh, ads that we've been running this month you can see uh, that you have 62 conversions here so the really important is the ROAS is the rule of thumb is that you want to have at least a 2.00 or more ROAS. So anything less, so you're, that, what that means is you're making two times what you're spending on ads. So if you're if you're spending, um, so on this on this particular uh, this, this this particular ad um, with the uh, retargeting ad, you know our cost per result was twenty one dollars. Uh, we spent $1,300, but we had a 5.5, so basically five and a half times we we're making on our uh, return on ad spend. So that is excellent. I mean, that is very, very good. So this is something that you want to make sure that you're monitoring. Now, if you, as you come down here in the second one, you can see 42 website purchases of 4.42. That's still very good. This one was, this one was great. 33 website purchases, uh, $34. ROAS, it was only costing us $3.18 uh, per purchase. Now, just depending on your product and what your average order value is, and you know, um, it could be, if you have something less than two, that might be okay. What I like to tell people is getting purchases is what's really important. So you can see down here, we had 30 purchases, but we were only make one, almost one and a half times uh, our return on ad spend. Now, I would not always just say, go ahead and shut it off. You, like I said, it depends on what, uh, how much profit margin you have in your product, uh, what the average order value is. But sometimes I will like to see that if it's, okay, it looks like over long term, this is not going to make the kind of money that I want to make. But if I'm not going to shut it off right away, if I'm still getting a good amount of purchases, say 30 purchases, that's still 30 conversions. And yes, you may not be making the exact profit that you need to be sustainable but those are also customers that you're getting into your 
uh, on your website into your email list and those are people that are happy and it's actually converted so um, as you start to get up and going you start to send more and more traffic this is really important a metric to to uh, when you're running Facebook ads uh, to keep an eye on you want to make sure that it's it's always has a preset so you can go through now if we go into some of these we'll go into this actual campaign and let's see so the you know these are the different ad sets so you can see some of them are different uh, than the actual whole campaign the campaign takes the average of all of your ad sets so you can see the website purchases 14 this is great 753 uh, 7.53 ROAS, 8.13 ROAS, uh, 28 purchases, 4.90. Uh, so I, like I said, kind of the rule of thumb is anything under two is you want to make sure that um, you want to take a look at that. Anything over two, you want to definitely go ahead and scale up and, and start to optimize those ads and really go for the gusto when you see that. Some of these are just awesome results. So again, that is how you uh, find your return on ad spend. Uh, Again, e-commerce, e-com mentor monthly uh, with launch cart. Love having these uh, e-com tips of the day. If you guys have any more questions, go to ecommentor.com. That's ecommentor.com. And we hope to see you guys next on the next uh, tip of the day.